Welcome back to Relaxing with Mech Warrior Online. We're going to take a look at another build that we have for DDC. I've noticed since the 12 versus 12 matches have started to occur, and we're getting used to larger maps that keep coming up, like Terra Therma, that freaking map comes up like 60% of the time. It's horrendous. But it's a little bit harder to nail down individuals with their short range missiles. They're only good at about 270 uh, meters, and for like a 10 story high mech, that's not a huge range. So there's a lot of mobility that's happening now um, because of the 12 versus 12. So I tried playing with a few different builds with my DDC. I didn't find it viable to make this thing go any faster. If we jump it up with a huge engine as best as we can, it still only goes probably about 60 kilometers per hour, so it's still pretty damn slow. But I still wanted to be able to kind of help my group and support. So I'm actually a huge fan of the LRMs, but I don't use them a lot because they're kind of bad. They uh, lowered the damage not too long ago. Uh, there was a glitch where they caused an insane amount of damage, so a, a quick haphazard fix for them was to jack their uh, damage way down. And you don't see a lot of them used on the battlefield now because of that. However, a strange quirk of 12 versus 12 is they seem to, there's always a spotter now. There's always a line of sight that seems fairly consistent, and I've been doing fairly well with them. You can fire them from a blind location, and they can be fired up to a thousand meters. Now, if I have a spotter that's dedicated on holding his target onto the, uh, the particular enemy, I can get a lot of these missiles to hit. Uh, Artemis improves our aim if we actually physically can see them, but a lot of times I'm firing kind of blind with the help of a, a teammate. But if I have three teammates that have eyes on the target, I'm usually getting hits with these missiles. Now, we're of DDC, so we can carry a fair amount of power here. Um, I put on two PPCs, which are still pretty good for us. Um, they are one of my favorites. They're fairly um, high damage. Uh, they have a decent amount of heat, but they're lightweight. That's the benefit of energy weapons, is they generate heat, but they don't have a lot of weight attached to the weapon or the ammunition you have to carry. And the ammunition doesn't explode, because we don't have any. So, that's pretty much it. You can kind of see the other systems. We still have our Guardian. We still have our, um, what is it, our double heat sinks, yada, yada, yada. I put some of the excess LRM ammo into our uh, cavity here with a case system. And this protects, it doesn't protect the ammo necessarily. When this compartment uh, blows out because of like ammo, uh, ammo explosions, all the damage isn't going to transfer to our main torso, and that's going to kill us. So this extra... Um, what is it, casing in this particular unit will cause the missile explosion to blow out the back. And it'll take off our arm, but it won't hurt our tor- ah, it won't hurt our torso. And you can see that I have the rest of the ammunition in our legs. Uh, strange thing, I've mentioned this prior about the DDC. The DDC has such a broad upper chest, it sometimes causes issues when we're trying to fire on people and our teammates are really close. But, nobody aims for our legs. I mean, I, I swear I could lower the armor on these damn things to like 20 and nobody would hit them. I always put arm, or was it, uh, I always put dangerous ammunition in the legs. Never backfires on me. I don't know. Same thing with the head. I think one time I've had a head blown out before with a lucky shot. And I think in my entire career, I think I've blown two people's cockpits out. It's very unlikely. I've shot the head. And I don't think this is actually the location for the head. I think you have to shoot them like right in the eyes for the cockpit to register. So I'm not hugely worried about that. But you can see our build here. The only thing that we have is uh, the Artemis system, which makes our missiles a little bit um, heavier and our weapon systems a little bit <laughs> our weapon systems a little bit heavier. Uh, but if we have line of sight, there's a better chance of the missiles clustering and hitting. Because a lot of the missiles that we're going to be firing and kind of 35 units at the enemy are going to hit. They're going to hit the ground. They're going to hit air their areas. Uh, but if they all do kind of concentrate, it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, otherwise, we have our standard armor, our standard structure. We don't really have the room for the spare tonnage for putting on like an endo steel or something else. Double heat sinks, generally pretty good. Now, they take up a lot of room in the arms in that, but they're a little bit more efficient. Uh, what is it? They take up three spaces, but they count as 1.4 times uh, the efficiency of normal heat sinks. And those in our engine compartment, you can see here there's 10 heat sinks in here, two slots available, which the two slots are filled. All of these also count as double heat sinks. So our heat efficiency is still pretty good. Uh, so we're going to go in and try this build out and see how it works. All right, we're in. I like to skip ahead with this damn atlas because it takes forever to get anywhere with it. However, uh, we kind of want to stay near the high grounds to monopolize on our uh, target lock so we don't get any intervening cover blocking us. 
And we want to get some of our teammates out ahead of us just so uh, they can spot some friendly targets for us to shoot. Friendly as in the people that want to kill me. Damn you, Hills! You're killing my Atlas! Ever since they changed how that works. Acquired. Taste my missile fury! Oh damn, I lost lock. You're watching my missiles don't hit their damn wall. Stuck on stuff here. Shouldn't be dicking around with this cover, especially with my atlas. It gets stuck on everything. All right, I'm taking a left. Taking a left, boss. Taking a left. New target acquired. All right. I'm hoping that people can hold. Oh, he's behind that damn building. New target All right. What about this happy customer? I am not getting in. Uh, okay, Atlas, they're awesome. <laughs> getting a lot of mixed hits here. All right, let's move up a little bit. I don't want to get too far up in there just because uh, my main weapon system doesn't work. Damn these hills. We used to be able to make these hills, but ever since they patched it, like I slow down to zero every time I come across a mild hill. All right, there's a bunch of folk around us. We need to back up. Ah, DDC without a EM device. That's interesting. All right, backing up around here. Ah, uh, it's going to be tricky. This cover is going to definitely uh, hurt our ability to hit folk. New target acquired. See that large building in between me and the blackjack? It's gonna cause some issues. Alright, I didn't hit anything. Didn't hit anything there. New target acquired. Head off over C5 here. I think the problem is I'm mostly ahead of a lot of my teammates. He's down. Uh, I don't want to fight that guy by myself. Unless he's totally weak in the core. Backing up so I can use my missiles. Minimum range 200 meters. There we go. There we go indeed. This is not a good representation of this build. I'm mostly using PPCs and I'm not hitting with missiles. <laughs> I apologize. They can't all be golden, folks. Action as he turns the corner. All right, somebody, somebody shoot me in the back, little bastard. Acquired. Damn it, tricky! Everything's up close to me. Something got destroyed on this guy. Damn it, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on everything! Help me, folks! Use your collective willpower to help me. Well, we blew off his arm, but he doesn't look like he has anything else that's terribly that bad. Looks like he's gonna try to circle us. I don't know, he's right over there. We have our um, seismic sensor on our cicada. The damn thing costs like six million dollars. I don't wanna freaking buy another one. Alright, somebody shoot me in the back again. This is some little guy. It's irking me off. That guy's dead now. Good. Go get him, team! Alright, we're actually pretty close to losing in points. Um, I am really not the mech to cap. 
So let's hope that our, uh... Target oh, come on, you hills! These hills! Why? I can't spread and cap. It's I've got to kill them. It's my only chance is to kill them. If somebody can get a target lock? Yeah, no time. There's no time. Damn these hills! Alright, I think we're going to lose unless somebody can, uh... Yeah, they got two mechs left. I don't think we're going to do this. Not unless we get two lucky shots in. I'm gonna murder you hills. Freaking hills. Alright. Well, they got this one. Um, <laughs> I missed a lot of my missile shots on that. People ran up into my business. I should have stayed a little bit farther back, I suppose. I'm getting used to the build, damn it. Otherwise, um, I think it works fairly well. There are some situations where... Um, 531, uh, we got, uh, I don't want to, we got some lucky shots in, uh, that's what I'm going to say for this one. Uh, the damage, yeah, that's been on average of what I've been getting, but frankly with uh, the other DDC builds with this 12 extra people, I haven't been able to cover the ground necessary to get a higher score. My cicada is doing fairly well though, but thanks for watching. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any comments about the video or what you may want to see on the channel in the future, please leave us a comment below. And if you would like to see more of our future videos, feel free to subscribe.